Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Is it worth to be an engineer in the UK? So in this video, I'm going to cover the whole life cycle of an engineer in the UK. In fact, I'm covering my whole life being in the UK. So I'll be covering the study in the UK as engineer, job prospects, career progression, salary, and finally settlement in the UK. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first topic is studying the UK as a civil engineer, or I should say engineer. Uh, when I think about, yeah, when I did my MSc Instruction Engineering, was it worth it? Definitely it worth it. Obviously, if I compare the cost from cost perspective, uh, if I had done back in, from Pakistan MSc, definitely that would cost me a lot less than what I've paid here in the UK. But in the long term, when I see now what I've learned from that MSc in the UK, definitely that that settled me in easily in the UK and that's that's where that paved me the path actually to go into the next stage in my career here in the UK the main difference I found between yes yeah, studying back home in Pakistan and here in the UK was about the the course content I mean that was completely research based what what I've studied here in the UK and that was more up-to-date relevant to the industry trend is straight from the university you study the theory there it was a matter of application that on the practical life in the job matter that's the difference actually and back home actually what you study is, is mostly the outdated sort of subjects there which has no relevancy to the uh, current industry standards and so was it worth to do MSc Instruction Engineering? Definitely it was worth it. Job prospects for civil engineers in the UK. So when I finished my degree here in the UK at that, at that time it was quite easily I should say uh, or maybe I found it quite easily to find my first job. It was straight from the university I got with no experience I got a the first interview and in the first sort of year interview I got ticked off and I was uh, I got an offer and from there on I haven't looked back I mean wherever yeah I went for the interview I, I got the positive responses most of the time I won't say a hundred percent results there from the interview but at least I should say a uh, ninety percent I had the positive response from any interview I had throughout my career so far so finding a job for civil engineers is quite easy in the UK in, in, in a sense that you know exactly what you are looking for and you you understand the requirements from the employer as long as you have those sort of yeah uh, areas covers uh, and that, that that cover under your belt uh, definitely it's it's easy to find a job around here yeah, for for civil engineers and now i can see there's there's more absolutely big projects that they are operating now in the uk and um, there's more and more demand it's it's always uh, the the demand for engineers are always enhancing here yeah, throughout the, my career actually when when i started my career back in the days so nowadays it's, it's more requirement it's a lot more of so, sort of yeah, opportunities around as long as you know exactly what you are applying for and you can fulfill the requirements of the employer so if I'm thinking about the career progression when I started obviously I've started with no experience back from back home and I started as a fresher here in the UK uh, definitely I mean it improved with it with the time but obviously the main driver is you need to drive your own career I mean that that is the key actually what I learned actually from past experience if you don't want to yeah, push yourself to the limits uh, the employer won't ask you to go there so it's completely up to yourself where you set your goals and where you you want to see your career progression so it's completely up to yourself the employers is happy I mean they will put you on a specific job there as long you're conducting you are operating on that job they will keep you there forever as long you are happy there there's, there's no harm basically to be there forever obviously if you are happy in that sort of yeah situation but obviously as a youngster as a graduate when we you leave your university obviously you are looking for your career progression you always look for different sort of scenarios and you want to enhance your career if that's what you are looking for definitely the driver should be yourself not your employer so you need to drive yeah, your career yourself as long as you're doing that there's there's more and more opportunities even within the same company you will find yeah, more and more opportunity and don't expect that to come from yourself actually from the employer or from your mentor so that won't come from there you need to drive your career yourself initially when I started my career it was quite hard actually obviously new to the system new to the environment here no experience so I was 
quite shy to ask for help where initially I was stuck in a specific sort of field I mean in five six years in the same job and uh, I didn't know actually where I should go and from there on actually I understood actually the, the requirements of the uh, of the industry so that's where I draw my career from there on and uh, uh, I'm, I'm quite happy where I am currently actually in my career and that's all because of yeah I have drove myself myself rather than through by the employer or by anyone else so as long you're willing to drive yourself you will be up there so let's talk about the very important factor the salary in the UK for engineers um, I should say it's not a good salary if I compare with other big big sort of yeah, countries around like a US uh, Canada and well I shouldn't say Canada but Australia and US the least I should say UK is not yeah comparable with those countries obviously yeah, I mean they're more expensive as well compared to the living standards there uh, but in terms of yeah the uh, wages the salary for civil engineers I would say on average you will get for a civil engineer 43,000 pounds per year uh, which is I should say is not sufficient to uh, live a really good sort of yeah luxury life obviously that's that's not good enough if your intention is to come here for a short uh, duration here and earn money as a civil engineer or as an engineer uh, that shouldn't be on your agenda at all because you won't get that uh, that that is simply my personal experience initially you will struggle uh, even I should say to survive as well if you are uh, you have dependence here in the UK as well because the salary is so low like a new start between 22,000 to 24,000 that's where you start your salary career and obviously with the experience is it goes up and up but um, with the 43,000 considering that that's an average it's not a big salary but what I'm talking here is is a permanent sort of salary uh, if I talk from the contractual perspective the contractor a salary that is completely a different game so if you want to go in that sort of side definitely you can double your salary but considering you can take the more risks there as well the, from the risks I mean there'll be a loss of risk for you losing your job you losing your contracts there I would say yeah as long you are competent and you have that sort of skills there and you're competent about your competencies your skills and you have the experience it's worth yeah, getting diving into that sort of sector as well the uh, contracting uh, contracting sort of side and I'm sure you can earn a lot more money than the permanent sort of yeah, job there but obviously with the job security that's something if, if that's something you're worried about obviously permanent is the best position in that sort of side but otherwise if you are taking risks where you can earn more money as well compared to the permanent salary and you can earn a luxurious life in that sort of yeah, contractual sort of side but obviously with a lot of more risks involved there and finally let's talk about the settlement in the UK as a civil engineer uh, obviously I've been here in the UK for the past 17 years uh, as a civil engineer I've started my career here I've studied here career progression and all the way now I'm uh, literally at the not at the retirement stage but obviously I have good enough experience then I can choose my own sort of yeah, career going forward whatever I choose the contract or whatever I need to sign so I'm at that sort of stage uh, uh, so I'm just thinking is a word to stay here obviously I already settled here in the UK but for engineers is a word to settle in the long term in the UK I would say if you are looking for more money obviously contracting is the way you can go about that sort of side and you can earn more money here and easily live a good life here if you want to stay a permanent in the road it will be really hard I mean even in the long term you will struggle in the long term here uh, as, as, a, as a permanent employee even if you go settle here you go the PR here uh, and staying as engineer in the UK as a permanent employee you will still struggle yeah buying your home or buying your sort of luxury car I mean that's that's something you would struggle with personally I, I do prefer yeah contracting uh, obviously after so so many years being here in the UK I have started my career as a permanent employee and I went through those stages where I got my competencies there my skills there and now I'm at that stage yeah, I'm quite confident and competent about my skills there I can survive the least here yeah, in, in the contracted sort of environment that's where I am but obviously for yourself if you want to see yourself settle here in the long term I would say the contracting is the better way to live here a luxurious life I mean staying here in the UK in the long term 
Okay guys, if you found this uh, information useful, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.